and welcome. I'm Michelle Anderson of Clarinet Mentors. My mission here is to give you tools and techniques to help you play the clarinet more easily. I've been a professional player and teacher for 30 years now, and I really like collecting the systems that help make it easier for all of us. Now today is kind of part two in a video series that gives you some exercises you can do without your clarinet. This might be particularly handy if you're going on holidays without your instrument and you still want to keep some of your skills going. But there are other times where you might just be waiting somewhere with nothing to do with your time and you want to put some productive use to it and then you can adapt some of these exercises. So I have two exercises. One is related to improving your fingering and one is related to improving your rhythm. So I'm going to start with the fingering one. There are lots of good habits that we want to build into our fingers when we play the clarinet. And a lot of them relate to the shape and hand position of our instrument. And I'll put some links in the description under this video to some other YouTube videos I have that really get more into the specifics of how to hold each hand on the clarinet itself. But today we're going without a clarinet, so we're just going to be looking at general habits. The two general habits that we're going to look at are training our fingers to move in an arched and rounded position. If I were to make little crab claws like this with each finger, that's just about the perfect shape for my fingers. If I were to grab my clarinet, I'd want it to be in that same position with both hands, that's true. So we're looking at shape of our fingers. The bad habit most of us have on clarinet is we bend this joint in here like that. And then our fingers don't move so easily. Right now I'm finding this awkward when I go into the arch. It's much easier and that has to do with how our hand is built. The second good habit that we're trying to get is gentle fingering. We don't want to be smack, 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 smacking our fingers. We want them to come down very lightly and very easily and we want them to not move very much. So I have a little exercise that you can do with both hands. So this one is not good to do when you're driving but it's good to do if you're sitting waiting somewhere and you're going to use your knees. So I'm going to bring the camera down to my knees and show you what I'm doing with hands and knees and I'll give you a fun little exercise that you can work on at home. All right, got the camera down at my knees. What I'm going to do is make sure my shoulders are very relaxed because another great habit when we play clarinet is not to be holding tension but to relax our shoulders. And I'm just going to put my fingers on my knees. What I don't want is I don't want my wrist to rest on the knees. So I'm going to have my wrists up. So when you look at me from the side, I'm going to try and keep this in a straight line because that's another good clarinet habit. We don't want our wrists to bend this way or this way. So I'm keeping it in a straight line with both of my hands. It's almost like I have a typewriter keyboard in front of me resting on my knees. And I'm going to notice that my fingers are arched and rounded, as I was talking about before. So as they're on my knees, they're arched and rounded. And the first exercise that I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of my outside, my, my little pinky fingers, and I'm just going to move them up and down watching their position. I'll turn sideways so you can see this. So I've got my arm and wrist straight and I'm just moving it up and down and watching what my pinky is doing. I want to make sure it's not slamming so that in fact it's moving a little bit more slowly and more controlled. Now I can feel my finger hitting my leg so my leg is going to tell me if I'm hitting it really hard. Since I'm starting with my weakest fingers odds are they're not slamming too much but some people really do slam their pinkies. So I do a little bit of that. How many? Maybe five or six until I feel like they're moving easily and then I go to my next fingers. This one's a hard one. These, our ring fingers, do not like moving independently. But it's great exercise to strengthen them and to get them used to doing it in that shape. And then I go to the middle finger. Now many people slam this finger down with force and if you're not only paying attention to how you're holding your fingers but to what you're feeling on your leg and knee you might notice that it feels like you're hitting your knee pretty hard and so use that sensory feedback to lighten your finger. Then we go to our index fingers. Same thing, these are strong fingers, they tend to slam. Then we go to our thumb. Now our right thumb doesn't really cover keys and clarinet, our left thumb certainly does, but for symmetry we're going to add our right thumb into the mix here. 
after we've done that, sort of mirror imaging our hands, and I've done five or six on each finger, then I'm just going to do one hit per finger. That finger, that finger, middle finger, index finger, thumb, pinky finger, ring finger, middle finger, index finger, thumb. And what I'm going to notice on my leg is does it feel like I'm hitting with the same pressure? So when I'm doing my ring fingers, they tend to be weak. Maybe too weak. Maybe I want to strengthen them a tiny bit. Although generally we want to go for as light as we can. So really it's probably about lightening up these two fingers. The next exercise is we're now going to, instead of doing mirror image, we're going to go from left to right. So right now this is my left side. I'm going to move my pinky, my left pinky and my right thumb together. And again, I'm going to make sure my shoulders are relaxed, but I'm sitting with good posture. Now naturally, my thumb is stronger than my pinky. So as I'm doing this, I'm paying attention to what I feel on my legs, that they're balanced. And then I go to the next finger. Here, this finger is going to be the weaker one. So I need to lighten up this one. Now middle fingers, I have middle finger against middle finger. It's easy to balance them, but I want to make sure that they're not hitting with too much force. And then I go to the next finger, and then I go to the next one. There's probably all kinds of variations you could do on this, um, other than doing both hands from outside to inside, and then right to left, and then you can go the other way, left to right. Um, any variation on that. But the idea is we're focusing on relaxed shoulders, straight arm, arched fingers, and light pressure and matching them. Now I did it in slow motion. The next variation would just be to go faster. Boom, 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 and even faster. Da, 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 da. So you can think of a rhythm as you go. These are ways to take this exercise and make it faster and more fun. But it's a great way to work on your hands without your clarinet. Thank you for joining me on today's video, and I'd love to hear from you. If you have comments on either of these exercises, the finger exercise or the rhythm exercise, please add them into the description underneath this video. I do check your comments about twice a week and I'll respond to them if you have a question. I'd also like to invite you to join my Clarinet Mentors community. It's completely free. You go to www.learnclarinetnow.com. If you sign up, you'll get an educational newsletter from me every two to three weeks and it'll have a video like today's. It'll have some of my recommendations on interesting clarinet recordings or gadgets or events. And I'll also invite you to special events that I have. These might be online lessons or online courses and things like that. And um, I just want to make sure you're aware of all the fun opportunities out there for clarinetists. I hope to see you on my next video and thanks for joining me today.